to Simon Belmont's. All right, so uh, looks like we're in a town now. Yep, it's our favorite place to be in all video games. Yeah, I mean, hopefully we're going to run like multiple NPCs that are like want to keep bothering us every five seconds. <laughs> all sorts of shops. These are like an NPC that want to talk to us. You just earned some experience. Experience increases your level. I like the fact we get this like after like killing two zombies. Yeah. Oh, that reminds me. Um, hang on, where is it? I just want to clear out all of these because I'm going to be unlocking combos as I go. And I don't want to be distracted by combos I already know about. Okay. That is kind of handy. You can just go in there and delete them. Yeah. All right, I did it right this time. So now when I get my level two skill, I'll, I'll know what it is. Nice. He okay, is. So. Oh, sorry. I'll just say he is quite dexterous, spinning around those zombies. Yep, somersault. So yeah, I was gonna comment. I can roll through them, which is nice. It's a life thing. I mean, just random glowing green energy. He's not worried about it. Sure beats wall meat. Just, just go up the us. stairs. Just go up the stairs, dude. Really, he could have just walked around and went up the stairs <laughs> like it's in the background element there. No, well, I mean, he, he only stays in the foregrounds. It was the oh, elderly, a scroll. Then the men and women and children until there was not a single person left standing. Not long after, the tombstones began to move. Either the hard oak wood nor the heavy stones of their graves could prevent the return of the dead to the world of the living. Was this written by Anakin Skywalker? <laughs> it wasn't just the, the old men, but the women and, and children, <laughs> too. They're like zombies, and he slaughtered them like zombies. He's like, oh, Max, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I love the axe-throwing animation. It's pretty great. <laughs> I played about half an hour of this to make sure it was not a terrible idea. Um, and I actually played the demo on 3DS a long time ago. So he's like, tosses it way more realistically than I ever would have expected. Yeah, um, you just kind of expect him just to have like, you know, a simple, you know, axe flies out of him, that's it. Right. But instead it's like this big clanky... 30 pound throwing axe that clatters to the ground after it hits something. See, I could get into like a, um, a Castlevania more in the style that there was more Castlevania elements to it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's. It wasn't a misguided idea by any means. Yeah. I mean, if anything, it's sort of almost like the original Castlevanias, and that is very straightforward going through a sequence rather than exploring. Right, right. Um,. From what I played, it will have more exploring and backtracking on the way. Okay. As you will see. Uh, as we crossed the bridge, the chain mechanism began to turn, quickly withdrawing the platform we were standing on. Luckily, I had the reflexes to jump back in time and watch as the rest of my company tumbled into the abyss. Man, he's going a long way out of his way just to catch up on his soap operas. <laughs> right, right. I did not jump nearly in time. It's like, if only I hadn't got so busy reading that scroll. <laughs> about the guy bragging about how he survived and all his friends are dead. Yeah. That's something I never got with, like, uh, disaster relief interviews. Where people are like, oh, I'm so lucky the tornado only murdered all my neighbors. Right. Well, I mean, Survivor's Guild is a real thing. They it don't is. always talk about it, but... yeah. I am lucky enough that I haven't had to deal with anything like that. Do you feel guilty that you haven't had to deal with Survivor's Guilt? I don't know. You have Maybe Survivor's Guilt about not having Survivor's Guilt? <laughs> I probably should. I don't. Yeah, you need to work on that. It, it'll make you more pathetic. That's true. More to talk about at parties. Yeah. 
you know, go to parties, talk to somebody, find some girl, be like, yeah, sometimes I just get so upset when I think about of all the disasters I've had, I had to live through. Okay, so, so this is an obvious 3DS feature that the uh, PC version had a little trouble understanding. So I can open my map and actually write in a note. I've already forgotten how to spell repel. I think it's... How do I make a note? X. Is it two P's in repel? I think it's just one. Oh, for R-A-P-P-E-L, I think. Yeah. <laughs> they just had on the screen. Right. So, so I guess like with the DS, so you would have the bottom screen, you just scribble that in. Yeah, yeah. With Convenient. A more smoother. Not a problem. Yep. And I can use the keyboard for it, too, which is nice. I realized too late, I needed a combat cross to reach that platform. Now, with my back broken from the fall, all I can do is await death. <laughs> <laughs> my corpse will serve as a warning for others. Do not enter this evil place without the right equipment. This guy just like, man, I sure blew that. Well, since I'm just laying here dying, I think I'm going to write something on my scroll. Might as well. <laughs> my back's broken anyway. I got nothing else to do. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be a little bit witty and sort of have a little bit of levity with it because, I mean, I don't want to depress the other person who comes in next time and, you know, tries to do the same thing. Wow. That uh, that blanket stole Zant's face. Hopefully not his dance moves. Oh gosh, I hope not. Alright, so there's this thing up here. A bestiary card. Oh, those are the best cards. I, I love collecting Pokemon cards for my fallen enemies. <laughs> yeah. Centuries, Centuries ago. ago, pilgrims created this underground route to worship the spirit of a woman who was claimed had the power of healing. The tunnels they traveled through, seeking health and good fortune, now seem to be the only access into this castle. Are you supposed to be scrolling on those? Sometimes they scroll, not always. Oh. Sometimes they're just scrolls. Non-scrolling scrolls. A scroll that doesn't scroll doesn't seem right to me. It seems more like a non-scroll. It, it, yeah, it's... it's so let's see if I can sonic my... Yep. And that's always one of the weirdest thing in video games. Like, if, if you're underwater and you see a bubble of air, are you just going to, like, chomp into it while drowning? Yeah, I guess I don't understand really how that would work. Like, how do you go up to a bubble that's underwater and get air out of it? Because, I mean, it's not going to be moving <laughs> slowly. It's going to be going straight up. Yeah, uh, unless the bu bubble is literally larger than your head. And, I mean, how do you even know... The uh, the oxygen or just the general gas mixture of that bubble. It could yeah, because I mean, it's, yeah, it's coming from underground, so that's like the last thing I don't want to breathe in. Right, it's just not safe. It's like oh, a mysterious pipe that must be oxygen. Yeah, because I mean, like all time, all the time, people are just pumping oxygen in water. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. air pressure matters. It's like, listen, unless you are I like... I that axe animation so much. <laughs> He's like, oh man, you... I got a, an axe <laughs> It's like, unless you've been shrunk into like a fish tank, you're not going to run into air that you can breathe. No. No, it's just not, not a good plan. So we grab ropes. Got a... Got treasure chest here. Just again, just go up the stairs. There were stairs there. <laughs> no, those those are background stairs. Simon <laughs> Belmont sticks to the foreground. What is this paper Mario? That's one of the downsides when you make your game look like when you give like so much attention to like your background and everything like that, right. you just end up with moments like, why aren't you doing the obvious thing and not sticking to this two dimensions. Right, right. Yeah, once you go two and a half D, you're only, only inviting confusion and criticism. Ha. Huh. When you think about it, basically he's only moving east and west. And if Dracula just decided, you know what, I'm going to go like 10 steps north 
Yeah. And I mean, that would be the end of the game. You, you, you'd be done. You couldn't do anything about it. It's true. Yeah, we can. Oh, this is not going well. So I, I guess that axe is really stunning him while he pulls it out of his face. Yeah, I mean, that, that seems like pretty reasonable. You get an axe in your face. It, it does sort of slow you down a little bit. It does. You, you want to spend some time dealing with the, the axe in face situation. Oh, video game parkour is always entertaining too, where you can grab onto a ledge and then jump eight feet <laughs> without any footing. Right, right. The uh, Nathan Drake technique. Yep. It's certainly potent. So I can't get up there. That's another repel point. Well, you could get climbed the background. <laughs> Once again, we are stuck on the 2D plane. <laughs> Can't use that. And there's little, there's old Cloaky again. Oh, hi, Cloaky. Who the hell are you? Stop. I'm Zant. I Zant do that. What sorcery is this? <laughs> <laughs> you just love his facial expression. Yeah, that was good. Good mixture of annoyance and confusion. What was this bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> That's not enough. I need to see more. That's the battle cross my father carried. We're not seeing any of this. He's complaining about not seeing more and reading nothing. Right. I mean to Would you just stop? projecting words onto this cloaky guy. I mean, he might not even be like re just anything more than just a, a mask that's on a string. Will you help me find it? That would be hilarious. It's just like a Lakitu with a fishing pole. <laughs> Damn it. And a Zant amiibo. Alright, well we'll, uh, we'll pick this up now that we've confronted Cloakman. Alright, next time. Good night. Good night.